Are you trying to add or audit hreflang tags on your website? Doing it right can be difficult, so in today's video, I'll teach you how you can add them and check them so you know they are right. So let's get started. Okay, so what are hreflang tags and why do you need them? So hreflang tags, they serve as a signal to search engines to show the correct version of a URL based on a user's language or region. So if you have a website that has different languages and you wanna make sure that the website with the user's language or region shows up correctly, you need to make sure you have those hreflang tags added to your website. Okay, so how do you structure them? How do you create these hreflang tags? So here are a few examples. The first one is the X default hreflang tag. So this one, it tells search engines that this URL is the default page when no other page is better suited or doesn't target any specific language or locale. Okay, so we are telling here that this URL is the default version. All right, now this second example is the hreflang tag for Spanish, okay, that's ES. So we are telling search engines that this URL is the Spanish version. And then this third example, DE, is for German. So we are telling search engines that this specific URL is the German language URL, all right? Now, where do you place these hreflang tags? You place these tags in the head section of your web page. Okay, so what are some tips? So make sure you have the exact URL with the correct language, right? So what do I mean by that? So make sure it's the exact URL that has that is written in that language. Also, the URL should have the language in it as well. Okay, so as you can see here, this is uh, Spanish, Okay, and this one is German. So make sure uh, the URL is translated as well as, of course, the body copy. Okay. Also, don't add the homepage if it's not the homepage, right? So this one is a specific blog article. Uh, make sure you have that specific blog article and don't just add the, the root domain or the homepage because you will be confusing Google and telling Google that you know this article the you know German version is the homepage when it really isn't. So make sure you add the specific blog article, specific URL for each language. Also, add the correct top level domain. Okay, so if you have maybe a .com, a .es, .de for different countries, make sure you uh, set add that correctly. So you can add the .es for the Spanish one, the .de for the German one, so on and so forth. Also, uh, do not add 301 or 404 pages. You want to make sure that the URLs are the correct URLs, right? Uh, don't add an old URL. Uh, don't add a URL that's going to a broken page. Um, if you do that, you will confuse Google, and Google will not know which is the correct um, article to show for that user's specific language or location. Right, so um, making sure you have these hreflang tags will really help your SEO because you will better serve your users depending on whatever language they speak and or whatever country they are searching from. Right, so if you wanna make sure your international SEO is uh, set up properly, make sure you have these hreflang tags added, okay? Also, add other languages. Okay, so if you are adding an hreflang tag for uh, the Spanish version, make sure you have other uh, languages as well if you have them, right? So make sure you list out the German one, the English one, the Italian one, so on and so forth. So you can tell Google that, hey, I have other languages that you can potentially uh, serve up to other uh, users across the world um, under different languages and countries. Right, so make sure you add all of the, the um, languages um, on the page. Okay, so how do you audit it? How do you check to see if the hreflang tags are added correctly on your website or your client's website? 
So let's just say uh, we are we're doing a search for best running shoes. Okay, so this is in Spanish, uh, mejores zapatillas para correr, and runnersworld.com ranks number one for this search term in Spanish. Okay, so this is the blog article, right? It's in Spanish. Now this website also has uh, Italian, French, and German. Okay, so to check to see if the hreflang tags are set up properly, uh, you can view the source code and go through all the HTML and find the hreflang tags. So they are listed right here. Okay, so we have one for ES, which is Spanish. So this is the Spanish URL. This one is the Italian one. And then this is the French one and then the German one. Okay, so you can manually go this way. It could be a little daunting. Um, the easier and quicker way is to use SEO Minion. Okay, so it's a plugin for uh, Firefox or Chrome. So if you click on the SEO Minion extension, click on hreflang checker, um, it'll show you all the hreflang tags for this article. Okay, so you could see here the X default is missing. All right, so that's something that this particular page will need to add. Uh, we can see here there's the Spanish version, the Italian version, French, and German listed right here, easily to check, uh, very quick to glance and audit a page for their hreflang tags. All right, and you can check the URL, make sure it's correct. All right, now let's do another search for that exact same search term, best running shoes in Italian. So this is the Italian um, translation, and uh, they are ranking over here, okay? Streetprorunning.com. So this is the Italian version of that exact same article, okay? So again, you could view the source code, or the easier way is by clicking on the SEO Minion plugin, Okay, and then you can click on hreflang checker and it'll immediately show you all the hreflang tags on this page. Okay, so you could see the X default is missing. There's a Spanish Italian, right? And you could go through here, make sure it's the correct one. You know, it's valid. Perfect. So they correctly implemented the hreflang tags for Spanish, Italian, French, and German. So this is a very easy way to check and audit whether or not the hreflang tags for any page are properly implemented. Okay, so this is how uh, you can add and check hreflang tags on your website. Now, if you want the SEO Minion um, extension, uh, just go to seominion.com and you can click on this button to install it for Chrome or this button to install it for Firefox. Okay, so hopefully you thought this video was helpful. Please hit that like button if you got some value out of this. And if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. So with that said, thank you so much, and we will see you in the next one.